As you can see, there are a lot of keyboard commands in Logic. And sometimes, once you get really used to using the system, you may want to input your own keyboard commands. I know I've done that already. So here we go to Logic, and we can scroll down to where it says Key Commands, and go to Edit. Once we get here, we can see everything. We have our global key commands, global control surface keyboard commands, various windows, windows showing audio files, just everything's right here for you. And to the right of it, we can see the modifiers, whether it's shift, control, option, or command. So for example, I'm going to go to global, and we're going to scroll down to global, and we can see all the possible keyboard commands. And this is a show all. I can see everything. It's showing me all these global commands here, the ones that are used and not used. And you can see the options available, right? So here I am, and I am in the global commands. I can go to here, and I want to see what's used. And I can see these commands. Now, a lot of times, there are these Mac keyboard commands that have already been set up within the system. And you're aware of that. I've done a lot of them already throughout this lesson program. And what I want to do, though, sometimes is get the ones that aren't used. So I'll look for ones that I want to use. I'll go to here and say unused. And now I see these unused keyboard commands. Like, for example, uh, shuttle forward, scrub forward keyboard command. I may want to just do that. Where I can just put the cursor there and then just use a keyboard command to scrub forward on an audio file. I can set up my own keyboard command for that. There are so many keyboard commands, you never know what's going to work. And what they've installed in Logic is a way for us to learn to see if a key position works. So I can go here and we have a learn by key label. We have a learn by key position. So for example, I can assign a key that I say, I want to assign is C working. I'm going to learn by key position. I'll click there. And then I want to say, I'm going to select the key. I'm going to select C. And as I do, key or key combination already in use. Key or key combination C is already assigned to a command, cycle mode. You can replace the existing key command or retain it by clicking cancel. See? So there's a stopgap measure inside the system to stop us from changing something without okaying it first. This way you know, yeah, I want to change the cycle to be something else. And it's important because when you do start putting your own keyboard commands in, you want to make sure you keep some of the ones you already know because if you pull your session out and go to another studio, uh, you might get confused or the engineer may get confused. So be aware of that.